Hello, 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 hello. This is Raquel with Jim Sims, and I want you to do one thing and one thing only, like and subscribe. Do yourself that favor. But as you can see from that lovely intro, we have a spill build, speed build today. But what you don't know, this is my very first speed build. I've been playing Sims 4 for a very long time, since it came out in 2009. And what I have struggled to find are low-income homes. Yes, we have trailers, and yes, we have shacks, but I just feel like I don't see the kind of housing authorities I would see in real life. I think the creators that build and place their things on the gallery do a wonderful job. What comes to mind when I think of low income housing are the projects, the hood, the ghetto. Yeah, so not necessarily starter homes, quote end quote. I was born in Florida, so I'm used to the pastel stucco homes like South Florida, okay, Miami, for a lot of them. And I think I said that wrong. No, I'm not used to the hood, but these are the type of buildings that I was used to seeing when I was living there. Now I'm in the Atlanta area and buildings look a little different but enough of all that. I wanted to challenge myself with this build okay. I usually use CC when I'm decorating all of my homes but I'm like nah let's try something different. Like I've been watching a ton of speed builds and like these creators are building stuff with no CC at all and I didn't even know debug existed. Debug items existed so I had to get in on this. Now when I started Started, I was really nervous that I was really gonna have to use some kind of CC to get the theme that I was looking for but it actually came out really well but I'm, I'm gonna be real some CC would have took this lot to a whole nother level like I could have put some strollers in front of the building complex some four-wheelers uh, definitely water bottles definitely water bottles because people be littering like it's nobody's business <laughs> ain't trying to call nobody out but look i know this video is on x game mode with this speed but that's on purpose because i'm gonna do a very lovely little tour at the end but i'm super excited i got so much time on my hands and i'm really 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 excited because this is the most creative i've been all year okay 2020 has just been too much too much and it needs to sit down like this year has really been kicking my black behind and i'm over it from financial insecurity to mental health declining my actual health declining like it's i'm ready for it all to be over but in a good way because i want 2021 to just be a fresh start we all need a fresh start especially america because her children are running around acting crazy and she needs to heal she needs to sit down and i don't mean to be political because i think it'll really show my age <laughs> I'm still hip though. There's actually this group called Avenue Beats that has this song called F2020 and I vibe with it so hard. Low key F2020. I don't know the rest of the words, <laughs> but I love it because it's so relatable. Like I just need everything to calm down. Other than that, shout out to my grown simmers. We are really out here, okay? I've been playing this game since Sims 2. And I had all the expansion packs, all the expansion packs in Sims 3 and all the expansion packs in Sims 4. And I feel like that's the best thing about being an adult. You get adult money, okay? Like I'm playing on a new microphone, a new desktop, on my big round TV. I am a big ass kid and I'm proud with that. And it's fine because it's my time and it's my, you know, money. And this is how I want to be productive. Speaking of time, you don't have to sit and chat with me. You can fast forward to the tour, but in my professional opinion, Opinion, I suggest you stick around, you know, and hang out with me for some inspiration and motivation. <laughs> Enough about me though. Let me tell you what inspired me to build this build in the first place. I was watching a YouTube video by Alexis Ariel and she recreated her whole world like all of her worlds and she did such a stunning job with creating the low income you know regular suburban homes the only difference is everything is custom content like it was a lot of custom content and i was thinking to myself can i do this without cc is that even possible for so long i felt like i needed custom content to create the theme of what i was building but i said no i'm gonna own it i'm gonna challenge myself because i want to give the simmers out there something and they can use in their stories. I'm gonna add a link to her channel and video below, but another simmer that motivated me is Simple Place. Homegirl made a car dealership, like a mom and pop car dealership. Not necessarily shady, but not one of those big extravagant CarMax joints. And I was like, wow, I would have never, I would have never thought of that. 
but from what I've seen, she comes off as really humble and she has really great messages with her videos. So I'll add a link to her channel as well. Thank you, girl, for inspiring me. But yeah, I'm talking so much and I'm talking so fast, but it's really because I'm super excited. I've never done anything like this, but back to what I was building, you'll notice that once we get to the tour, a lot of these rooms are not going to look the same as when I was speed building it because I built it at first. I made the video and was displeased. I was very displeased, right? So I went back and just added more uh, decorations decorated the homes a little bit more I even redid one of the apartments entirely the one with the roommates and you'll see when we get to it but I'm done talking I'll get back with you with the tour see you soon And I'm back and welcome to your virtual tour potential home winter first we're gonna start with unit 101 the story behind 101 I had in mind you know grandparents and their grandson and as you can see from the decoration and the furniture it is very old school these people have been here for a long time the floor is decaying everything just looks you know pretty old but for the most part it's pretty clean like these people have great pride in their home and they decorate it nicely and I just wanted it to reflect that we're gonna go into the grandson's room that he's not not necessarily a child but you can tell he's transitioning into his teenage years and the bathroom very old school with the pink uh, toilet and the old looking uh, towel rack in the bedroom very comfy but older bedroom stuff so we're gonna go into unit 102 and this is the apartment I was telling you that I renovated like this is the party apartment imagine being super peaceful in your home and right next door is the party house with the big speakers and it's smelly and they got the beer keg so they always got people over it's just a mess messy 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 this is what it looks like from the back but Back into the apartment. Let's go. All right, yeah, the kitchen's a hot mess because this is where they turn up. This is where the turn up happens and the hospitality is there because you can see the uh, paper towels and utensils. We're gonna go upstairs and you just see the walls and the floors are all super beat up because they always turn it up. Um, but this is the bedroom with the roommates. And I think so much could be said about this bedroom and the people that live in it with the tissues and the cups, like the turn up goes upstairs. The bath bathroom is disgusting. The walls are just a mess. Clothes everywhere, toothbrush out, red cups everywhere. And this is the room of the Sim who pays the bills, right? And they got their bat just in case. The view up here is so lovely. <laughs> Let's pass the utility closet. Well, we're gonna go inside. The utility closet, which we're not gonna use, but we're gonna go over into unit 1083. And this is my favorite one. This is the bachelor's pad. It's inspired by the 90s look. Like I imagined like the really big painting, the black panther with the blue eyes or the city skylights in the back. I got the fish tank, we got incense. No, this sim does not cook. I imagine it being a guy. Um, so this is, I didn't show the bathroom, but the bathroom was super clean, right? Super clean, he's about that life. So we're gonna go upstairs. I downsized the rack there, but he has a gym because gym is life, fitness is life, right? And he has to look good for his women's, right? So we're gonna go into the bathroom once again, very clean, black interior, not black interior, but black uh, appliances. The bedroom is very simple. This is a simple man who values simple things, but he does his work upstairs and this is it. This unit. This next unit is actually vacant. Um, I love boxes in there just to show that it was vacant, but this is what it looks like in the inside. Nothing fancy. I want to give the uh, simmer the creation, not creative, the freedom to decorate once they get inside. But across the way at 108, the story behind unit 108 is single mom and her two kids. And you can tell she loves her kids because there's kids stuff everywhere. The chairs, the consoles, uh, but you can tell she is a, uh, 
someone who really values being a parent. She's also very responsible with a lot of bills and things like that. But you can tell that she really values her kids with all of the toys and the calendars. Yes, this apartment is very run down. She has kids and things just get destroyed. The floor is very weathered. The bathroom is weathered. Uh, it's just really a lot of traffic has gone through. The walls are kind of beat up. But other than that, like, there's love here. You can tell the kids' bedroom, yes, walls are beat up, floors beat up. But the kids are love. They have pretty much everything a child would want. Um, they have a place to be creative. And we're going to go into the bathroom. Same thing, clothes everywhere. Floor is a little, just a little gross. But it, there's love here. Mom's bedroom is super just relax it's chills not too fancy not too much but parenting even goes inside the room with the kid cards and the playhouse on the floor where the baby can play the following apartment is vacant and once again i have boxes to show that it is so we're going out passing utility closet again another one but we're gonna go into unit 106 which is my favorite this sim doesn't even have to say what they do for a living because you know art is life art is life and this is how they make their money all right this sim um, actually i would think owns this apartment because it's more renovated and they just put more time and money into it um not too fancy about the bathroom but yeah art is life and this is how they earn their coin we're gonna go upstairs the bedroom is not a bedroom it's storage for all of their work bathroom i love it so much despite the crack it's just so loud and it's screaming at me in the bedroom oh this sim put so much into her her area and this is the sim i made to test everything out but that's not her uh so we're gonna go back downstairs and we're gonna head out into our very last unit unit 105 the story behind unit 105 is the veteran that came back and was not right okay you can see all the uh confidential files that are just spread out everywhere this sim feels like it needs to crack a code and he's just not living he's not living everything's in disarray it's disgusting like I feel like this sim would probably suffer from schizophrenia and bipolar and this based off experience and what I've uh, experienced with people I know. And we're going to go upstairs and you'll just see that the walls are destroyed and the room here is basically where the sim feels like they have to crack the code and study and just spy on their neighbors. But it's really gross, very run down inside. Um, in the bedroom you can just show this just shows that this sim is in distress um, and i imagine the sim will probably be paranoid and erratic but we're gonna go back out and we're gonna go downstairs because i want to show you the back of the building because they can all go out through their kitchens uh, we have a dumpster for garbage disposal you'll have garbage disposal so no worries but yeah we have our cars for parking uh, electrical boxes the kids bikes and a nice little playground for the kids as well as the recreation park i'm gonna show you a little bit of the laundry uh, facility it's very simple it's also where they come in and lounge and play cards while they wait for their laundry the pool is very small but this is where the teens like to hang out I've never seen this done before. Um, this is the other side of the apartments, but I've never seen anyone put a corner store on the apartment complex. And I, I just felt like it was necessary. Like these Sims have a corner store and I think it will work perfectly if you had the, the mods with you. And I think it's little Sam auto employee mod. I think that's it. But I think that'll go perfectly for this mod because I'm going to have Sims own this entire uh, apartment complex. But y'all, this includes the, the virtual tour and I've had so much fun building this. It took a really, really long time, but it's cool because I get to share it all with you on the gallery. You can go and look up for Diamond Brown 79 and you'll see it there. But thanks for rocking with me and I want y'all to stay safe out there, stay humble and just chill it's gonna be all right and until next time y'all have a good one